Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing really great. Having happy, positive days, right? Having time to work out and eat healthy, colorful salads every day. Mm, that would be great. Help people in need, right? Volunteer somehow. Okay, that's also great and work with consistency and also take care of the family and yourself right okay all right so this video is about tree planting a huge tree planting that we need to plant eight billion trees by november 11th 2022 okay and we need everyone's help so we can make that possible all right so today is april 1st 2022 and i'm sure we can do it with everyone helping i'm sure we can do it all right let's see so the first thing you have to see to whom you're going to plant you're going to make a research it's for your own residential community or it's for see the education of sites you have children you have teens or you go to university or you know what place you're gonna help or government public uh, city parks county parks state and national parks so that's the first thing you're going to decide you know where those trees gonna be planting okay all right so you're gonna focus you can start uh, what's the most needed for your family in your own community or for a semi-arid area nearby or at your own county or a state and national park because we're gonna transform them completely right they're not going to stand there it's uh, quite a few countries have that rule maybe uh, most of them right have the rule no one touches the state or national park no one touches but we already know that that's not the most sustainable we have to to uh, renew them prior for, for them to be more more biodiverse right have more biodiversity okay all right so as soon as you decide you can talk with your spouse first and then you talk to your family members right you're gonna find helpers who are gonna be your helpers if it's uh, at your own residential community of course gonna be people that are living there if you are moving so make sure you won't start uh, planting all the seeds right there but if you stay in there for two or four more weeks then it's okay you can start where you are and then when you move you can start other plants okay so if you're moving and we will start planting seedlings now have seedlings now who is going to take care of that when you leave right okay and if you are moving soon and gonna start planting only at your new state or new country start searching data okay because that will make sense gathering seeds gathering good soils get gathering everything you need for your new county new country whichever it is okay so you already talk to your spouse you make a very good agreement in all the details great so now you're going to talk to your family members all right everyone agree because we're going to work together right we have to work with our children teens right and young adults that are still living with you grandparents right that live with you or moving soon to live with you uh, before you move or at the new country or county okay all right everyone the whole family agree everything is well we are already writing all this process the meetings you're having at your family records book that's very important okay so now we are going to make a good search make a good online research check the best videos 
according to a climate because that's the most important because even a few bags of soil organic soil you can purchase right um, I guess mostly everywhere or you can make yourself prepare yourself quick for the seedlings you know while they grow and then you're gonna transplant and then you're gonna transplant again maybe just two times maybe even three or four times until they're really ready to be placed on the ground okay the plants need to be one meter tall by November 11th to be counted for this year if they're not on that height they're going to be counted for the following year in large areas like state national parks uh, semi-arid or desert lands in desert lands going to be around lakes and rivers right Okay, so for those large areas, we are going to have an estimate. We're going to have like um, um, maybe a thousand meters or so, right? One kilometer or even uh, 500 meters. Do a very well search on and make an estimate for the plants that reach that point. Okay, the other thing we need is like, if it's a residential community, we're also going to need other plants to be implemented, right? Edibles, roots, herbs, vegetables, salad greens, and so on. Okay, if they are located in state and national parks or by uh, margins of rivers or by beaches, you know, or in... Um, mountains and other places to avoid erosion for example so we're gonna need other things we're gonna need bushes uh, we're gonna need um, plants that have good um, even vines right that grow on a, on a soil grasses and other things depending on the climate you have which one are really strong for your climate and things like that okay and the other thing it's water okay so you make a good research already know what you are doing where all those plants gonna be used for all right so now you're gonna have need water and talk to the people right that are in charge of that area the state park national park or your own residential community get all the documentation properly sign okay all right so that's a number three and number four right water and documents okay the water how are you gonna get will be a city water to start with uh, above ground irrigation or will be made with uh, water trucks that will come from your own county or from big cities that you're going to share or from uh, your neighbor county okay because we are not bringing too far away it needs to be from your own county or neighbor county you can even share for neighbor county to water every single day that truck goes to a different location that's fine but we are not bringing water trucks daily from far away counties they can come once and uh, give us a gift right to your county if you need but not to be going back and forth back and forth we're not doing that in some places once that we're not going to have ovens anymore right soon as the ovens are removed from that whole county you know we can use fire trucks to water those plants we can use that you know we just need proper uh you know adapt them somehow so they can water um not too strong right and uh, have a good um, a plan good irrigation system so the seeds or um, small trees already planted on there will be irrigated properly okay all right so we're doing great we have four items already decided and organized plan all with proper paperwork right the ones you need to sign you need at least four copies
okay? Like uh, if you're planting for a state, a national park, your own residential community that's not, uh, it has another owner. Um, educational sites, if you have a child or a teen there, or if your own university, or an, an adult education that you're going to learn English, or your parents are studying there, work, having workout classes, for example. Okay, all right, you're going to have that paperwork. Four originals, so you make one proper paperwork the best as possible already in English if some if if you are in a country that they already speak some English go ahead and make in English if the person of course agrees with it okay uh, put on Google Translator if you need you can make uh, the same copy and and do the translation right in front of the person you know or the person can do Google Translation all right you have those documents. What are these four copies for? One for yourself, for now, and at least for these 10 years, 10, 20 years. Okay, one for yourself. You have the proof. You have authorization. This is very important for the following few years and also for the future. Okay. One will be given to the person that signed that paper, the owner of that property or the government. Okay. The new government, the city office, keep that. But if now you are dealing with regular uh, government office, go ahead and give a copy to them. Okay? And the fourth, it's to our official city offices, right? As soon as they open, they're going to have a copy. Okay? So, one for yourself. One for the owners of that property or the government site right now, you know, in, in um, established right now. One for the city office, um, soon as the organization launched, you know, our official city office. And the fourth, sorry, I was not so clear. The fourth will be used the department directors that will be the new owners right the 10 department directs that are gonna assume their position officially on the organization launching day so it is a paperwork they have to keep okay all right and they also gonna have records of who helped to 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 plant all those trees right something so special okay so now for the fruit trees to be harvested along the year. So, if you are in a residential community, educational site, all the four parks, government public parks, we need that fruit trees that will flower in any time of the year, that's fine. But they will give their fruits in different times of the year. What's that for? For people, right? For us to eat students to eat on their educational sites or residential communities but also for state and national parks we need lots of fruit trees for wildlife right and also because they decompose and you know they're going to enrich the soil and have a very special biodiversity on that area okay all right Okay, so we're doing great. So what are you going to search for all the items? Uh, if there are trees or bushes, vines, plants, you know, what can be um, planted on that area? What are you going to plant at your house? Or if you're going to uh, ready to do those um, uh, plants at the location, you know, you're going to plan that. Where's the right place? At the own property. You're going to be planting them afterwards. Or on the best available. Okay, so who is helping you? That's another item. Who is helping you? Of course, your family, right? So if it's at your own residential community, all your neighbors or a few neighbors or at least one family. So you're going to be a total of two families or four families in charge of that item okay so if you're doing at university university student university teacher gonna who gonna be helping 
right? Who are going to be watering them on the days that you're not there because maybe uh, you study or teach only twice a week or four times a week. Who is going to be watching them really carefully? Or are you going to manage yourself? It's enough of days you're going. Okay. All right. So you're going to make all the details properly organized and you're ready to start. Okay? All right. So that will be really great. We're going to make another video afterwards with more details, but that's a real great start. Make sure your soil is really rich with natural, organic items. Okay? All right. For, for the seedlings and also for the pots, for the small pots you're going to plant soon. Make sure to have very strong pots so you can use and reuse over and over, right? So seedlings, as, as soon as you get that 100, 200, 1,000 seedlings gone to a bigger pot, okay, let's go, my friends. All right, so already make a plan. In how many days you're going to transplant them? 10, 20 days, how many days you need many, many people to do those seedlings again, right? So every 20 days, every 10 days, how it is. Okay, so you have a big group helping you on those very important days. Okay, transplanting days, new seedling days and go into the ground days and watering them days, right? In pots and also in the ground, okay? All right, and also how to prepare the soil at those big areas. So you're gonna use tractors because tractors, you can use them right now, but not on a future. All big tractors gonna end their work by the end of the 28 weeks, okay? So, what are small little machines you can do yourself, you know, uh, in the most sustainable way as possible to aerate the soil, how you're going to do all those steps, okay? All right, so uh, please check all our videos, you know, the best as possible for land cleanup and uh, soil preparation, okay? And we are going to have more details on the tree planting huge tree plant international huge <laughs> tree planting or or peace peace tree planting um part two okay all right so talk to you soon my friends have a wonderful special planning with lots of enthusiasm and happiness because it's great to start a day like that Take care, many blessings, and I talk to you soon. Here's Goiana Ferreira from Florida, United States. Talk to you soon. Thank you. And all the other trucks that will be authorized to continue after the 28 weeks, we are going to give details on how, uh, what the requirements they need to have. But for now, we can use any water truck that's available during these 28 weeks, okay? All right, so we are getting ready. Thank you so much for cooperation. Get wonderful people to help you, and I talk to you soon.